it's Sue again here uh, in the State Street offices in San Francisco. We just had to show you that that was Alcatraz. We could see that through the other window. How cool is that? Uh, but that has absolutely nothing to do with our next guest. This here is Michael Dunworth. I just, I can't explain how much he has just blown our mind in the last hour or so. I know he looks 13, but he's actually... 14. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, this guy is a 30-year-old entrepreneur from Australia. You studied at UTS, moved mm -hmm. over here to San Francisco, yep. raised uh, some capital. He's the founder of Snapcard, which is now the biggest... Uh, well, we are one of the largest um, blockchain money transfer companies in the world, pretty much. So yeah. we move over the blockchain, we move money for people, so cross borders, um, and we move really large amounts. Uh, mm. yeah. And so uh, PayPal uses these guys, like yeah. So so we work exact. So we try and be like an architecture underneath. Uh, you without using boring tech words, um, we try and be like the people like in the engine room uh mm -hmm. so people clip onto our service and stuff starts working faster and more cost effective basically okay so yeah. you you just gave me the my or us all of us in the room the best explanation using a really good example of what on earth is bitcoin and uh the blockchain so yep. i'm gonna get you to to tell everybody yeah what no okay about. sure so okay so everyone knows what i'll do okay so everyone knows what the internet is obviously uh everyone knows what email is um the the disruption of like why the internet is so important is before you had the internet if i wanted to apply for a job somewhere i'd print off my resume i'd put it in an envelope and i'd send it somewhere and it'd take you know 24 to 48 hours um then the internet came around and i would basically just have to upload a pdf file send it an email and apply for a job and then they get it instantly um so what the blockchain is just like the internet require the e email runs on top of the internet the blockchain is uh, has Bitcoin run on top of it. So you can't ever send an email and not be connected to the internet. You're always connected to the internet. Mm -hmm. um, it's the technology that you know drives uh, email underneath the hood. And that's what blockchain is. So the blockchain drives Bitcoin. So you can't send an email without the internet. You can't use Bitcoins without a blockchain underneath it. Excellent. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> no worries. And the other one, so the other question I have for you is already, uh, this is just changing transactions globally. Yep. Where do you see this is going to head? What do you see we might be seeing differently thanks to the Bitcoin and the blockchain? Um, we are going to see, I think we're going to see a, it's already kind of starting to happen, but just not at the scale that it should be, is a new asset class, um, which is Bitcoin or digital currencies. They would be probably the number one store of value right now. People find gold is a really good way to store their money. Um, eventually, Bitcoin will be that. It's mm -hmm. It's gold, to, it's cliche, everyone says it's gold 2.0, but there's a reason why they say that. It's it's gold, but it's not a heavy brick that sits in a bank vault. It's a, you know, it's a digital currency that sits in my on my phone, just like a, you know, a photo on Instagram or anything like that. Yeah. So, so let's say I want to pay somebody offshore. Mm -hmm. I transfer my Australian dollars yep. into Bitcoins yep. with your platform. Yep. So, so basically, essentially, what we do is we use Bitcoin is a mechanism where I can send a Bitcoin anywhere in the world, no matter what time of the day it is. It's just like sending an email, and you know that it's coming instantly. Mm -hmm. So, so it doesn't wait for the bank to open, and then all the transactions go through. Um, so, what we do is to get you away from all the Bitcoin stuff and all the ones and zeros. We just put a layer on top of it where you send us your Aussie dollars, and um, and then we'll convert those into the, the destination currency. But in the middle of it, it goes through all Bitcoins and in and out of Bitcoins the whole way. So um, that's kind of where our tech does all the heavy lifting for people so that they don't have to worry about what Bitcoin is or how it works and all that stuff. So, so unsurprising why you're having such great success. Uh, yeah, we're getting really lucky. People are enjoying it, which is cool. So keep enjoying it, please. <laughs> cool. All right, thank you so much. No worries, thanks so much. Yeah. That's another moment with Sue from San Fran. Ciao.